Hi, Mina San. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Abby Kareen, your friendly neighborhood nerd, and we are back with Dan to Dan. This is episode seven called To a Kinder World. We're going to jump in because we are facing this dancer, silk, silk lady. I don't know. She's doing something. She, she, uh, <laughs> she likes to swallow people. Cool. But obviously, you know, she has a bit of a pass with, um, Ira. So hopefully this episode, we will learn more about that. We did get a little bit of flashbacks in the last episode of like Ida being young and seeing this woman um, and potentially she called her mommy or something. I don't think it's her actual mom, but maybe she, they had like an influence on each other back during that time. That's what I'm assuming. Obviously we'll get those answers as we watch this episode. So we'll just jump in and see uh, what's happening. <laughs> If you'd like to check out the full reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon on the Upper S Class tier. And don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and follow me on my social media. Oh. We are, oh, whoa. Whoa, this looks like real footage. What is she running from? Did she get hit by that car? And her, her hands are still tied. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this is toss. What happened to her friends? Are they still knocked out? Are they safe? Oh my gosh. And her hair is everywhere. Look at that. Oh. Wiener boy. You're, why are we so focused on people's genitalia in this, in this show? <laughs> in this anime? Tell me. <laughs> Okay. No, she, no, she was on point. She's a dancer. Does she do ballet? I no. No. Okay. Who got her? Yeah. Pull her by her hair. Get over here. <laughs> And does she lose more hair when she uses it? Cause like, this is all a ball. Mm. Well, to the, today's a good day to find out. <laughs> Thank you. The power of friendship. Did you just headbutt her? <laughs> I like these flashes of the different colors. Like I like how they incorporate it in this anime. They, they're just doing a really good job. The animators keep going. Family jewels. What? Well, I I would I did not wish that upon her. I did not wish that, so. You know, you're just, you're pessimist. Just, just stay, stay in your corner. Yeah, hush. Oh, she is somewhat helpful. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, oh. Oh, dear. Okay, well. So are they gonna be merged together or is she gonna like give herself up and let let her live? <laughs> what a bother. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's like Shikamaro. Maybe that's why I'm digging <laughs> digging him. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Are we at the train station? What's going on here? Sorry, that's a reference from Harry Potter. If you don't know, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is her? Oh, is this the dress that she kind of wears? Oh, look at this little sprout. Oh, who's this? Sorry, that was 
cut it out. Oh, so where was she before? Is she? I mean, what was she doing before? Where was she? She was all naked. What about me? Was she the Janet? Oh my God! Wait, so single mom doing her best to raise her kid, and and okay, yeah, she has multiple jobs. Oh, and she's teacher. Oh, she, but she's a dancer though. That's oh my God! What happened? I right, guys, <laughs> I'm not gonna get emotional here. So she, does she also do sex work too? Which again, a job is a job. I do not judge. And if you judge people, screw you. We have we're gonna fight. <laughs> cutie okay it's just like a straight up life so i'm i is this gonna be sad though because like where's her daughter why did she die did she i know she was running in that one flashback so like did she get hit by a car so it was just okay let's cool it sorry mama right here single mom and there's nothing wrong with that single mamas out there but like all right i'm feeling it <laughs> oh does she not get in oh no she's just sleeping okay i'm th i'm always like thinking the worst because like hello this woman is is a deranged not deranged is a pretty crazy spirit so like what was the bad event that happened jesus Dude, girl, get a knife. Shit. Oh, really? No, 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 no. Did they take her daughter? What the fuck is happening? Where are they taking? I'm sorry. A lot just. Holy shit. Where is her daughter? Oh, and this happened. Oh, no. This really took a turn, and it was a terrible turn. So did she attach herself to Ida because she was just, like, looking for someone who re resembled her daughter? Oh, this is pretty. Is she dead? Oh. This is so pretty. <laughs> what is? Ooh. Oh. oh my God! I need to just bring it. Oh, and she saw her. But is she a ghost? Oh. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god, this episode took a turn. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Can we help her find her child in her last... Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. No, but... Okay, so this is like, we're just fixation. Okay. Okay. And she's alive. She she got all that stuff. Mm, she saw all that. No, I mean, yes, but, but boy, was it for good intentions. No, 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 no. There's two people right here that will that know her. Oh, and this dance. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a really sweet episode. Oh, is she gonna hug her? I'm sorry, I'm really ugly crying right now.
Oh, what should she mean with that? <sighs> Thank you. They don't forget that. Sh oh my god. <laughs> This is a really, this episode certainly got me. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my gosh. Um, this was freaking sad. I mean, it was beautiful at the end there, but at the same time, I'm really frustrated because like what happened to her daughter, like was that man who came and like took, like beat her up and, and took the kid. Was that like the dad or was that like some gang, like Yakuza, like, it doesn't give us it, it gives us backstory but at the same time it doesn't because it's just like there's that that's a chapter that's not not done because it's like what happened to the daughter like are are are, uh, <laughs> are um Ida and Momo gonna potentially find her because because the girl would most likely be around their age because yeah or or maybe maybe a little bit older I'm just like, where, where's, where's she at? I want her to be safe. Cause like, if it is the Yakuza, it's like, she's in that world. So can like, can we save her? I'm sorry. That that's like, oh, that's her daughter. And like, she wasn't actually able to save her again. I'm, I'm so happy Ida was there. So like, I guess give this woman purpose to like, yes, it wasn't her daughter, but she still had purpose to like, be in the world and and protect some someone and the fact that now Ida and Momo know her story like that gives me hope that maybe they can save this this girl or find her this one definitely took me out a bit more solely because it is a single mother and as this, I'm a lot of you don't know this because I try and keep my personal life to, to me and my friends and, you know, my community because it's just, like, you know, just safety for my daughter being on the internet and everything. Like, I don't think kids should be on the internet, except if, unless it's, like, researching. But nonetheless, it's just, like, I am a single mom, and we work really hard. I work multiple jobs. I – everything I do is is for my daughter. I want her to have – the best education so I'm continuously I mean other parents do it too like don't get me wrong like I'm not like a saint parent we have our days where she fight where we fight and there are days where we're grumpy but there's more days where we're, we're laughing and we're <laughs> dancing goofy songs and cuddling up and watching Harry Potter or Bob's Burgers and it's just like I help her with her homework so it's like not only am I taking care of trying to take care of my poor self who is in shambles but I'm trying to be there for my daughter and I'm trying to be a good example and trying to show her that she can be something in life and it's just like and the need to protect and you know I've definitely had to step off of being like a helicopter mom because so, like she's my only one and I just want her to be safe and it's just like but I want to protect her and there's this oh okay so her story is just really beautiful and sad and it just kind of just shows the struggles a single parent, I'll say that, just has to go through. It's a lot of work. And I respect that, um, what is it, acrobat, silk lady or whatever. I just appreciate her. But I appreciate Momo for helping and wanting to give her a proper send, not send off, but like acknowledge her and, and her pain and want the best for her in the afterlife. And while I know she is going into the void, the fact that Ida held her. So she got to... There you go. I have to watch episode eight in tears. <laughs> you know, things in life can be sad. And it doesn't mean that we can't acknowledge them or know that they're a reality for many people. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It was a great fight, but no, I really did enjoy the acrobat ladies fighting style because um, I just finished Frieden Beyond Journey's End, which, by the way, is a great anime if, you, if you're if you into oh, just sweet things, funny sweet things. That's all I got to say. Um, 
so I guess spoiler alert if you have not seen it. So I guess skip a little bit ahead. But um, yeah, the from the later on in in the anime since I'll just say since um, but her ability too it's it's very similar and I just I, I am going to like that ability where you're using hair and like she used it so crazily in this which oh man man there's so much to go off about this because at the same time it's just like she's willing to strip her beauty even though she was a very crazy spirit but like you saw her getting balder and balder and losing her hair but like she didn't care about any of that because she just wanted to protect Ida and be with Ida, which is like kind of since I get it as a mom, I'm willing to do anything and everything. Like when she was getting beat up by that stupid y whatever Yakuza man, and like when I'm full, you you go into fight mode because you you want to protect. So you're not worried about yourself. You're not worried about the cuts you're getting getting banged up. You want to protect, and and that was the same that happened here. That desperation to let me protect my child. And that's just very, that is, a, <laughs> that is just such a powerful thing because that's what a lot of us moms feel for our children. So it's just, see it, see it this way. Whew, certainly did a number on me. So <laughs> hopefully I'm going to be okay to watch number eight. <laughs> We're going to jump into it. But man, this was, I would love to see what the ranking was for this episode because it was Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop there because I, I really can't go on more, but just excellent episode. Um, and I hope Turbo Granny can shift her perspective a little bit. I really do. And I, I kind of hope she has a dimple redemption. And I, and I know every anime is different. Some tropes are the same, some aren't, but I hope she can just learn, which she does have a little bit because like, you remember those those girl spirits. So I'm just, just saying. I'd like to see it happen, but, um, but that's going to be it. Please let me know what you thought of this episode. <sighs> Did it make you cry like me? Cause I <laughs> <sighs> certainly did it. <laughs> so yeah, let me, let me know your thoughts in the comments, please. But, um, but again, that's going to be it. So thank you for watching <sighs> and I will see you in the next reaction. Bye.